Hi, this is Mike from Five Squared Support. Welcome to this video. This video is going to be the opposite of what the last video was. The last video transformed a virtual machine into a working physical computer. This is going to do the opposite. I'm going to transform this physical computer into a virtual machine. I'm going to fast forward setting this up to look like a personal computer. And then we're going to turn this physical computer into a virtual machine. This computer has now been set up as though it's been used for a long time. Now we're going to create the backup image which we will restore as a virtual machine. Some of this process you have already seen. We're going to create an image of the C drive. We're going to choose a location to save it. I'm going to choose this BPAL location. I'm going to make a new folder. Restore to VM. I'll see you when this is completed. It is time to reboot and then we are going to restore this physical machine into a virtual machine. Okay, let's get that physical hard drive attached to the computer restored to a virtual machine. couple things we need to do. We need to find out where the image is. I know it's on this drive, the L drive that's called BPAL. That's where our image is restored. So what I need to do is find disk management and find out what disk number this is. Where is the L? It is disk number 8. I'm going to need to run this program as administrator, so I'm going to have to close that so I can reopen it and run it as an administrator. I'm going to have to do this on my other monitor. And once again, I need some trust from you. I did run this as administrator. I need to look at this again. I'm pretty sure I said disk 8. But I need to make sure. Disk 8. We're going to create a new virtual machine. We have to choose where we're going to save it. But first, I'm going to go with the default on the first screen. That is fine. I'm going to change this to the C drive. I'm just going to type it in C. Let's see. Restore. Let's see. Back to VM. That works for me. Windows 10. We'll name this window 10 from disk. I think that default is fine. Like before, we're going to customize hardware later. As in now. We do want to change this RAM up to about 8. We want to add a hard drive. Hard disk. Recommended there is fine, the physical disk. And we want to choose disk 8. I'm going to use the entire disk. And finally, we need to add the Macrium Reflect boot disk. I need to confirm what drive letter this is. It looks like number 9. Now that those drives are configured, we're going to want to boot from it. Now we browse for the image file, which is going to be on the other drive I set up, which is this. 
This is the restored VM. That's the image that we created from the physical hard drive. We're going to restore it. We're going to select. We're going to select the disk. It's actually this one right here. We're going to copy these partitions. And we're going to finish her up. With the restore completed, we need to do our final steps. I'm going to shut down this virtual machine. Then I'm going to run it again as an administrator. We're going to remove those drives that we needed for the restoration process. I'm going to remove both of these. Again, these won't be removed or added if you don't run it as administrator. Now we should be good to run it. We are now booting into what was just recently a physical disk attached to the computer which before that was a virtual machine. It's a full circle. Slightly different though because I did configure the background as white, installed a bunch of programs. And we are back to a virtual machine, what used to be a physical computer. Again, this is great once you replace your computer to have a virtual machine of what you had been using beforehand you can reference software configuration all kinds of things it's a great 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 thing to do with a new computer or even as a second version of the computer you're currently running thank you for watching goodbye for now